Hi guys, welcome back to Kobe's Kitchen. Today we share simple, amazing recipes. You don't have to break a bank to create an amazing meal in your home. And homemade food does not have to be boring. Thank you so much for my new subscribers, for my returning subscribers. Asantini sana na wapenda sana. If you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe red button. At this point, please do hit that button. Thank you so much. So in, today we are going to be making, I'm going to be showing you a meal that I came to love through my sister. She cooks amazing, amazing mashed mashed ma mashed ma vitu mingi so when we are mashing do i call it matoke yeah is it matoke no we have a lot of ingredients here so sit back relax and of course let's head over to our ingredients so for my ingredients i've used three medium sized tomatoes and deep down there there are three cloves of garlic and then i have some butternut for this recipe don't use the normal pumpkin use the butternut because it gives out a nice sugary taste in this mashed concussion that you're gonna have and actually it tastes so nice my sister cooks it well i hope i'll hack her recipe and have yani unachango tu ukilik vidole zako so this is the butternut kale ka squash kale kana kaanga kadhibus this is it don't use the normal malenge and then i have bananas ama plantain so raw bananas ama if you're using plantain use the raw plantain peel it nicely soak it in um, salty water i've just used like uh, seven to eight because my family is huge so this is plantain ama bananas I have a lot. My mother in those and them. Ah, thanks goodness for her. And then I have potatoes. Yeah, I have used like 10 potatoes. So we're gonna mix everything together and mash them. Mm, it will be delicious. Actually, the goodness about this thing is that you're not confined in having one taste like vile tuna mashingi mashed potatoes or mashed matoke. You're not confined in having one taste in your mouth. Like you get to explore various tastes in uh, one 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 spoon. Like you have the taste of potatoes, the taste of plantain, and the taste of malenge, each combined together. That's the greatness of this plus the nutrition in this. Mm -hmm. You will love it. So let's head over to our cooking pot and hack this recipe. Yeah. So for this, I'm using spring onions, not because that uh, you should not use the other onion, but because I have lots of them in my fridge and I don't want them to go bad. But I love the taste that the spring onions give to food. So if you have the red or the purple onion, use that. So I'm, I'll be using the spring onion. So fry your onion until it's translucent. If you're using the bulb one, but if you're using this, you don't need it to be translucent because I don't like uh, the the brownish color for the. If, if it is the spring onions, I need those green leaves remaining like that. So I'm just gonna fry it for about 30 seconds or a minute, and then go ahead and add my tomatoes and grated garlic pomoja. After the 30 seconds, I will go ahead and roughly cut my tomatoes and make sure your tomatoes are super ripe. So I'll go ahead and add in the tomatoes with the grated garlic. Also adding some salt to ensure that they let the tomatoes cook really fast and remove the, their juices in them. So after adding salt, I'll then look at it and let the nyanyas cook before adding our concoction. Once the nyanyas are cooked, the gravy, as you can see, 
if you if you have some <coughs> rifle cubes or not cubes you can add them but I just found out that I've read out of them they bring a very nice flavor so I'll just keep that part because I don't have any of them so I'll go ahead and add in my pump. actually there is no wrong way of adding your ingredients just add so I've cut my pumpkin in big sizes because the, the this particular pumpkin in Ivanga Araka and they don't want it to quiver belia is in the So corrupt the pamozam and then add the rest. So there's no particular right or wrong way to do so. Just then you just add everything together. After adding it in, I'll let it get fry before adding some water in them. So I'll just let it fry for two for like a minute. And then you know any if you have any spice, but I don't think I would add any spice in them because I need the authentic taste of the pumpkin and uh, the banana and the waru. So I don't need to add more spiciness in this dish so I'll cook it as it is so ni tangoja ikangike for like a minute before adding a jelly can of water in this so uh, that minute it will come later. I'm gonna put on the nisha and then put in some water for for when you have Korea it will take for everything to cook. So let me see. So you do not need lots of water in this you only need water to make everything cook because you are mashing this so i'm going to be using one and uh, maybe a half cup of water a half of water here so don't put lots of water and then now adjust the seasoning Make sure you add it in before even because it will be so hard for the waros the shike chungu zishaiba. So if, if that water does not help in the cooking of everything kama haita saidia hmm. directly translating everything kama hazita kwa zimeiva by the time hii maji ina, inaisha i just add in little amount of water so it's better adding maji kidogo than over excessively water ha? so add kidogo acha nisikie shuvi kama imeja if it is perfect perfecto funika ngoja zive bi and then the kiva it's when we'll mash so it will it maybe it will take about eight to ten minutes and then we'll be back to test if everything is cooked nicely so after about uh, five eight minutes the sha ivana actually if you're not careful it has to go chili so this this is the thickness of the soup so far. Now I have not I have bongeza any other maji in this. So if you have this amount of um, if you're using whatever the amount that I used, I would have to have one and a half, one and a quarter cups of water. So I'm going to mash it together in the motor and then mash it together. And the girl does not have to labor because technology can to rescue your girl. So I'll be using this bitter. So 
So with the bitter, it nicely mix, it mix in everything together and you can see the yellow color due to that pumpkin. I love everything about it. So, so far so good. This is it for this video and I will show you ingine yenye haijaiva my snake pick of what I'm having. Having it with some minced meat. I shared this particular recipe of minced meat in my YouTube so go check this recipe hijava bado going process so i'm having this with that so try out this and you will love it hmm. finger licking so nice perfecto subscribe if you haven't